So this video is meant to introduce you to energy and power concepts, equations, and a very simple sample problem. So let's first talk about um, the concept of energy and power. So what I like to think about is I like to think about a runner that's running around a track. And if you think about it, he has two things that he's doing. He's running at a certain speed, and that speed is going to dictate how many laps around the track he's going to make. And you also have to know how long he's running for to know how many laps he's going to uh, take. So let's think about it in terms of power and energy. So what we can think about is that power is analogous to the speed at which he is running around the track. So power is very instantaneous because he could start sprinting or walking or jogging at any moment. So power is very instantaneous. And energy is analogous to how many laps he has run around the track. So energy is sort of like power added up over time. All right, so this video is going to focus on using the uh, reference manager in uh, Microsoft Word 2010. Now, what I have here is something I want to I want to cite in my report, and the information is gotten from a book. I'll show you air conditioning principles and systems. Um, so we want to put in the information from this book into into Microsoft Word and then have it generate the reference for us. So what we're going to do is go over to the References tab and we are going to go to Citation and Bibliography. And right now we have APA style. So we're going to insert a citation and we're going to add a new source here. project, I will be giving a brief explanation of the refrigeration cycle and one way to calculate the efficiency of the system. A basic refrigeration system is made up of four main parts. The compressor, condenser, expansion valve, and evaporator. The lines on this diagram represent pipes that contain a refrigerant. Now let's start at the compressor. The compressor's job is to raise the pressure of the refrigerant. The arrows in each corner of the screen.
Let's do this. <laughs> Come on, big sex, let's do this. Oh! 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 I couldn't see you, someone. You got it. Yeah, I thought it was so oh, yeah. oh, oh, right. oh! 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 Oh!
We did a retuning project on the air units, which I personally did, and then did a project on unit ventilators. And we're gonna be looking at some trend data uh, in previous slides. So here we have the we have a graphic here. It's a screenshot of air unit unit four, which serves library four. <laughs> and we have uh, with the set point temperature here, we have the uh, the, uh, coil, the coil valve, which pretty much is, controls the amount of uh, hot water is going through the system. We have the target temperature, the return temperature, and the uh, outside damper, which controls how much ventilation the system is getting. So this is, the, this is the trend that I was talking about. We have a uh, time here. So our trend data is the same, it's the same period of time. So that way you get exactly accurate as possible how the system should be running. So here we have the uh, supply fan. As you see, it's 100% on, and then around the evening time, it shuts off, which is great. That's how a system should be running. 